At the beginning of the film, we are shown an old man, who used to make different types of clocks. He had also made a very big pendulum clock. And at the same time, we see a lot of clocks made here. In the next scene, we are shown a car accident taking place. In which the people sitting died immediately. There was also a phone there, on which a little girl's voice was coming. About this girl's voice, and the car accident, we'll learn later in the story. After a few years, we see a clock shop. Where two men were picking up the clocks and keeping them in the shop. At the same time, there was also a big pendulum clock. Which was made by that old man. Which we saw at the beginning of the story. Suddenly that clock starts running by itself. In that, time and date were changing automatically. There was also a bulb in the middle of it. Which started running automatically. This clock also had a strange shadow. After this, a girl named Diksha, who had shifted to her new house with her husband. Diksha's parents had died. And due to their grief, her grandparents had also died. But before dying, Diksha's grandfather had transferred all his property to her. Diksha was very happy to come to her house, here we learn one more thing. Diksha was mute. That means she was dumb. She could not speak. Her grandfather had transferred her property to her. But the papers of that property were not ready yet. She was very happy to come to her new house. One day a parcel comes for her. That maybe someone had sent a gift for them. But whatever was in this parcel was not normal. Because as soon as it comes inside, the temple was in the house. The lamp that was lit in it was extinguished. But Diksha does not take this matter very seriously. Because at that time the window was open. She thinks that maybe it happened because of the wind. At night, all the clocks of Diksha's house were telling the same time. Which was a very strange thing. And the time was 11 o'clock, 5 minutes, a few seconds. Then all the lights in the house start to turn on and off. The next morning, Diksha's husband Yuvan's friend comes to their house. They talk a lot. On leaving, Yuvan's friend says, did you talk to Diksha? Yuvan says, no man, I do not want to talk to her. Because I feel that her condition will deteriorate. What was that matter, we will find out later. When Diksha was setting things in her house. She opens the parcel too. A big pendulum clock comes out of that parcel. That clock was closed. But when Diksha turned it on, there was a bulb in it. Which was made to look inside the clock. When she peeps inside, she sees a bad glimpse. Because of this, Diksha was very scared. Then later when she goes to the kitchen, she sees someone on her window. Who was so scared that she was scared and fainted. After a while, when the doctor comes to check, he asks Yuvan, has this ever happened to your wife? He says no. But yes, a few years ago Diksha had an accident. In which she had a very deep head injury. Because of this, she had lost her voice. And she had forgotten some of her memories. The doctor gives medicine to Diksha and leaves. But on leaving, the doctor says, you will have to take care of your wife. And it is possible that if something like this happens to her again, then your wife can also be paralyzed after which she will not be able to walk. When they were sleeping at night, a woman comes into Diksha's dream, where she also sees the accident happening, in which a man was taking a girl. But there was a woman who was suffering, and she was also raising her hand for help. Then Diksha comes to her senses. She had a woman's ghost, which was taking her somewhere. It was a deserted place, where there was a lot of smoke. Diksha's eyes also suddenly turned white, there was the same clock there, which Diksha had taken out of the parcel, which was in her house. Some invisible thing attacks her. Then Diksha woke up in fear. And we come to know here, that she was watching all this in her dream. But still, she takes care of herself and goes to sleep again. But the next moment she sees a woman outside Diksha's window, who was looking very scary. The next morning when Yuvan goes to the office, he was also worried about Diksha there. And on this point, his boss also scolds him a lot. Diksha was at home there. Then when it is 11.05 am on the clock. Then all the lights in the house started to turn on and off. According to this time, why was made? Which is also the name of this movie. It was a very strange thing that the clock was ringing at the same time. When Diksha goes near that clock. Then she tries to look inside it again. But then the doorbell rang. When she goes and sees, she finds out that her uncle had come from the village. She was very happy to see him. While eating dinner at night, her uncle tells her that whatever land is in Diksha's name, her documents are not complete yet. 
we will have to get them made soon. Otherwise, someone else will take over it. And this is what her uncle had come to tell her. When everyone goes to sleep. And that is the time. Which was 11.05 a.m. The clock was ringing. When Deeksha's uncle comes to check outside. Then he slipped and fell. And someone was pulling him back. In the morning, when he tells all this to Yuvan. And says that I think there is something strange in your house. Because at night I was trying to pull something towards me. But Yuvan says to his uncle. There is nothing like that. You must have had a misunderstanding. And you had slipped from the liquid soap and fell. I have seen myself falling on the floor in the morning. He does not believe his uncle's words. When Yuvan goes and tells all this to his friend. Then he says. Don't take all these things lightly. Diksha is also not well. You will have to do something soon. Because these ghosts are found in the world. When Diksha was alone in the house. Then she was feeling as if someone is in the window. When she goes and sees, there was nothing like that. But she sees the letter Y written on the glass of the window. And then she also sees a black shadow near her. She was very scared to see it. And she runs out of there. Then Yuvan also came to the house. And even at that time, it was 11 o'clock 5 minutes 30 seconds. Yuvan was also scared to see Deeksha in this condition. So now he decides that he will call the psychologist. The doctor comes and sees Deeksha's house. Then when they start going to a place. Then the guard of the house stops them. And says please don't go here. This place is not right. When the doctor meets Deeksha. Then Yuvan tells the doctor everything. And then uncle's call had also come. Now, the doctor had also come to know about the ghost's matter. The doctor puts cameras in their house. And checks all the reports of Deeksha. At night, we see that Deeksha's eyes were completely white. And she was strangling Yuvan. But then Yuvan comes to his senses. And here we come to know that he was just seeing a dream. Deeksha was sleeping peacefully near him. The next morning, the doctor put the camera in the whole house. And when Deeksha goes to sleep. Then everyone was keeping an eye on her through cameras. And then the Y-shaped time also happens. Yuvan's friend was in the bathroom. Then the lights start to turn on and off. And the water was also coming little by little. He feels a black shadow behind him. And runs away in fear. Then he sees Deeksha in his room. She was sitting on her bed and looking strange. Which was very scary. Now, Yuvan shows all the switches of his house. Which were really damaged. He tells that this is the reason. My house's lights turn on and off. He was telling his friend and doctor. That there is no such thing as a ghost. The doctor says that whatever is going on in your house. It is definitely connected to Deeksha. Now Yuvan tells the story of himself and Deeksha. He says that we both used to live in orphanage. I had no one in this world. Me and Deeksha were very good friends of each other. But Deeksha's mom and dad were alive. Diksha was born before their marriage. That's why they didn't keep her with them from the fear of people. But Diksha's mom and dad who were real. They got married. It was many years ago. They didn't have children. That's why they came to take Diksha back. And then Diksha went with them. We used to talk on the phone. One day, she told her mom and dad about me. They were coming to meet me. Then, in a car accident. They died. But Diksha survived. And this was the same accident. Which was shown to us at the beginning of the story. When Yuvan was narrating this story. Diksha was also sitting next to him. She was listening to everything. And suddenly something was happening to her. She was feeling like she was remembering something. And she was also trying to speak. That's why when the clock rings there. Diksha's condition gets very bad. The doctor closes that clock. And now they try to find out about that clock. They find out that this clock was given to Yuvan's friend as a gift. When he did online shopping. But later he gave it to Yuvan as a gift. When they find out about the real owner of that clock. An agent shows them the picture of that couple. Who made this clock prepared. Yuvan says that this is the same family. From which Deeksha's family had an accident that day. And here. Now we know about that accident which we saw at the beginning of the story. That day, it was the same couple. They were going to meet their daughter on the bike. And Diksha's family was in the car. Then both of them had an accident at a turn. 
and the girl's voice that was heard on the phone. She was the daughter of the couple sitting on the same bike. Both of them were talking to their daughter on the way. And in that accident, the couple who was on the bike. Among them, that lady's husband died. And Deech's mom and dad too. But that lady was shaking her hand for help. And maybe that was the reason that this lady used to come into Deech's dreams often. After that, they all eat together at night. And the doctor goes to check the watch again. When Yuvan comes to the room of the doctor, the doctor was not there. The time was also 11.05. Anyway, when the doctor comes to them and tells them here, from which they and we know the truth here, the doctor says that there is no ghost in reality. That watch has been designed in such a way that the negative of that couple's picture has been put in it. And we had seen when Diksha had seen a strange negative glimpse. That was also the reason. And when the time is 11.05, then all this is visible. Then I heard someone crying. I went to the guard outside. I asked what is all this going on? On which he told me about a woman. That her daughter and son-in-law were living a very happy life. Then one day they both had an accident. The husband of that woman's daughter died. But her daughter was alive. Who had gone completely mad. She used to go to her husband's grave again and again. Sometimes here, sometimes there. And the shadow that Diksha used to see on the window. That was of this woman's daughter. The doctor says that there is no ghost here. And yes, tonight that woman's daughter died. The guard was burying her. And that woman was crying for this. So this watch was of the same couple. Whose accident happened from Deech's car. And at 11.05. This watch used to ring, because at this time, the couple's daughter was born. So this was a special time for them. And from that old man, this couple had made this watch which we saw at the beginning of the story. It is shown in the next scene. Everything was fine. The doctor had also come back to his house. Diksha and Yuvan go to the daughter of that woman's grave with her. And her grandsons, that is, the daughter of her daughter. They adopt her. When the doctor was at his house, he was checking all the videos. And at the same time, he was deleting them. But then the doctor gets the recording of last night. In which he sees a shadow. But at that time the daughter of that woman had died. Did the soul of that woman's daughter really go into this watch? And even then it was 11.05. Then the watch starts to ring. With her voice, that child woke up. Who was adopted by Diksha and Yuvan. She sees a black shadow in front of her. And in the end, we see to be continued written. Will that soul live with her daughter? Or then there is a lot left to happen. This 11.05 time was special. But now dangerous too, and the film ends with this.